So you might be in a spot where for some reason your Xbox application is not working. Now what does this mean? Well essentially your Xbox app is tied specifically to Xbox servers as well as your Xbox account. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your specific Xbox application is tied to your account. That is also perfectly fine. If your account is disabled or it's been banned or whatever the case is, you will not be able to sign into your Xbox application. So keep that in mind. That is like the number one thing that I see constantly. So just make sure that is not the case and you then should be good to go for the most part. Now, for some reason, you are you should be good to go. You're able to sign in in other areas, but your account is just not you know still working as of this point. Or maybe the app keeps crashing or whatever the case is. That is usually, in my opinion, due to the Xbox servers being down. So what you can do here, there's a couple different things you can do. You can type in Xbox servers just like this. And Xbox actually has a pretty good live outage way to kind of look at things. So if you go like right here onto their Xbox page, this may not be the actual Xbox page, but essentially there's a little option they have where it shows Xbox status right here. And it basically shows you the status of everything. And it shows you if everything's up and running. So you can see games and gaming. It seems like there's always some issues with it. But if it shows like account and profile, if this thing says it's down, then it probably means it's down and there's not much you can do. Same exact thing with Xbox Live down for down detector. If a ton of people are reporting that it's down, as you can see, 10 p.m., a lot of people reported it was down. But since then, it looks like it was, you know, kind of stable. So if a lot of people are reporting it that it's down exactly the same time that you're, you know, trying to go on it, well, that means the Xbox app is probably down. And again, there's not really too much you can do in that specific situation. Now, on top of that, if that's still not working, check your Wi-Fi connection, check your internet connection in general. You can also check your Xbox, like I said, account, but you already probably checked that. So those are pretty much the main things that I recommend taking a look at. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that will be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.